video in quite some time. It's Lindsay and I'm so glad that you are here watching this video with me. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. It's a tutorial on these bronze smoky eyes. So let's get started. So the first shade that I'm using is Makeup Geek Peach Smoothie. This is one of my favorite shades to use as a transition shade and I'm using a really large fluffy brush to do this. And next I'm going to be using Max Eyeshadow in Saddle and I'm just going to be concentrating this on a smaller crease brush right into the crease. And just remember to keep, keep blending and always use a really nice good primer to make sure that your eyeshadows blend seamlessly. <laughs> Next, I'm taking just my regular fluffy brush and going back over with my original shade that I use. And then next, I'm taking Makeup Geek's Frappe and I'm going back into the crease with the same or a little bit of a smaller crease brush just to concentrate a little bit more of that color and detail right in the crease. Next, I'm just taking Makeup Geek's Chickadee and I'm just lightly tapping this right into the shadow, taking it on a fluffy brush and kind of taking it above the crease, kind of where your brow bone and your crease meet just to add a little bit more of a yellow warmth to the shades. Then I'm taking Max Amber Lights and I'm just spreading that all over the top of the lid. I pull my eye taut just to make sure I'm not having any wrinkling with my skin. I'm just making sure I'm get all the concentration and pigmentation right on the eyelid and not mixing it up into the crease. This just keeps it more, more controlled. Then next I'm taking Makeup Geek's Bada Bing and I'm just taking this on a smaller crease brush that keeps it more detailed on the outer thirds of the eye and I just create a V shape on the outside of the eyelid. Next I'm taking Makeup Geek's Frappe and I'm just taking this on a pointing pointer blender eyeshadow brush and I'm just smudging that in the lower lid. Then I'm taking Max Nylon. I'm going right in my brow bone and in my inner corner just to highlight any areas that I want really bright to stand out. This is a very bright highlight and it's one of my favorites. Next I'm using Maybelline Gel Eyeliner and I'm just going right into the waterline. This is one of the best, most black eyeliners I've ever used and it's definitely one of my favorites. It won't change for a long time, I'm sure. Next, I'm doing a traditional cat wing with my eyeliner and I'm going from the inner corner to the outer corner. I just create this wing with several steps, adding several different layers of the eyeliner just to make it more black, thicken it up, uh, connect the lines, and just making sure that everything looks as seamless and flawless as possible. And then I go over that with a black powder. It could be any eyeshadow that you have that's black. I'm using Max Carbon right now with a flat eyeliner brush and this is the best trick to make sure that your eyeliner doesn't smudge. I do it to the lower lash line too. Then next I'm applying my mascara. I always use a waterproof mascara and then I'm applying my eyelashes. I'm using Demi Wispies by Ardell. These are some of my absolute favorites. They are definitely the most natural. It creates more of like an almond shape for my eyes and that's the look that I really most prefer. So these are definitely some of my favorites and they're cheap too. And so that's what they look like. Ding. <laughs> And so this is just my base. I use the IT Cosmetics CC Cream and my Urban Decay Naked Weightless Concealer. Both of these are in the lightest shade that these both companies make. Then I'm using the Sephora Liquid Highlighter. You guys, this is amazing. I'm just taking it on the back of a beauty blender right after I apply my foundation but no powder. And I put it to the top of my cheekbones and bam, you have a gorgeous highlight. And this is gorgeous for girls who are super pale like me and who really want something that really stands out as a highlight. This is absolutely gorgeous. I put it down my nose and then I powder underneath my eyes and then I take my regular face powder and I powder anywhere where I didn't set that liquid highlighter at. So I just put it all over my cheeks, avoiding the top of my cheekbones, hitting my forehead, anywhere where I get the most oily or the most, you know, shiny throughout the day, but leaving that cheek highlight pretty present. You can definitely tell it in that shot. I decided to mix it up today and use an oldie but a goodie and use my Anastasia Contour Kit with my Lorac contouring brush that I love with this palette. It's a harder powder, so this brush picks up the product perfectly and I'm just taking that brush sculpting out my cheek and then turning it sideways to blend and it's like crazy sharp but then I blend it out and make sure that everything looks as flawless as possible and make sure that nothing looks super super harsh. This combination was a really good combination for me this day and then I'm just taking it up into my hairline just avoiding going right in the middle of my forehead just more on the outer portions and blending it all down. <music> I 
I was feeling super adventurous this day and I decided to contour my nose, which I never do. So I actually had a lot of fun doing this this day and it looked really good. So yeah, contour for the win. So now I'm just taking a fluffier brush, just kind of blending that out and taking one of my favorite all time favorite blushes in the entire world. It is Smashbox Prism Blush and it's MAC Well Dressed on steroids. It's definitely got so much more pigmentation than MAC Well Dressed and it's just light enough and it gives you just this really pretty pink glow without being too overpowering and it's just perfect for us pale girls. So <laughs> I love that blush. And then next I'm taking Becca highlighters in both uh, Pearl and Champagne Pop. And I'm taking just a regular brush and I'm just hitting the top of my cheekbones over where I put that liquid highlighter just to intensify. And you know, we all like a glow. And I'm just going down my nose and over the cupid's bow just to add a little bit more fullness to the top lip. And now I'm just getting crazy. Just getting crazy. <laughs> and then next I'm taking MAC Angel Lipstick. And this is just an oldie but a goodie. I haven't used this in quite some time. And so I decided to pull it out today. And it was absolutely gorgeous. I'm kind of over the liquid lipstick phase where it's super, super dry matte lips all the time. And I just wanted something really pretty and springy. And so I just thought that this would be absolutely gorgeous. And so just paired with this whole makeup look, it just all came together perfectly. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I really had a lot of fun making this video as I'm doing my little dance break here. <laughs> And I hope you guys liked it. Leave a like in the down bar below. Subscribe. I love you guys so much and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.